The Hollywood movie that ended up killing nearly half of its cast and crew. The filming location couldn't have been in a worse place. In 1953, a cast and crew of over 220 made their way to Utah to begin production on the movie that would see John Wayne starring as Genghis Khan. As well as Wayne, The Conqueror starred Susan Hayward, Agnes Moorhead, and Pedro Armendariz. It was produced by Howard Hughes. Before production began, the filmmakers had been told of the nuclear test that would be taking place at the Nevada National Security Site. With the main filming location based in St. George, Utah, this was 137 miles downwind from the testing site. But the federal government had already assured residents that the tests would pose no hazards to public health. During filming, 11 above-ground nuclear weapons tests occurred, with St. George receiving the brunt of the nuclear fallout. When filming on location was completed, there was still no escaping the hazardous fallout. An unknowing Howard Hughes had 60 tons of dirt shipped to the Hollywood studio to allow for reshoots with a similar terrain. In 1963, seven years after the film's release, director Dick Powell died from cancer. Armandaris committed suicide five months later, diagnosed with kidney cancer in 1960. He had discovered his condition had become terminal. Wayne, Hayward, and Moorhead would also come to cancer in the 1970s, although it must be noted that this was a time of heavy smoking. John Wayne himself attributed his cancer to his tobacco addiction. Regardless, by the end of 1980, of the 220 cast and crew members, 46 had died of cancer and 91 had received a cancer diagnosis. Several family members who had visited the set also experienced cancer scares. The statistics do not include figures for the Native American Paiute extras who featured in the film, but it is believed many also died from cancer. In 1980, Dr. Robert Pendleton, professor of biology at the University of Utah noted, with these numbers, this case could qualify as an epidemic. The connection between fallout radiation and cancer in individual cases has been practically impossible to prove conclusively, but in a group this size you'd expect only 30-some cancers to develop. With 91 cancer cases, I think the tie into their exposure on the set of The Conqueror would hold up in a court of law. As for the film itself, it was a total flop, going on to be voted as one of the worst films of all times. Howard Hughes is said to have felt so guilty about filming at a hazardous location that he spent $12 million buying every print of the film to remove it from circulation. He spent the latter years of his life watching it endlessly. Universal Pictures purchased the film from his estate in 1979 following his death. 